here comes the Legion OS which is actually a very good kind of custom room available for many devices we have installed it on our Redmi Note 8 I tried this room on my device I thought I should make a video on N22 Geekbench scores and CPU throttling test and almost everything which we tried on this right now this is Legion OS which has very good kind of very good amount of customizations it has good kind of unique UI and some things which are changed in these recent latest updates we're just going to talk about that the first thing is yes it's based on android version 11 with the latest security patch i tried it on my device the smoothness etc seems to be very good till now i'm using it some time and i'm not sure i don't know what actually is but whenever the room has good kind of performance in my case it always has bad geekbench and cpu throttling test scores i'm not sure why it includes the xiaomi parts if you're admin noted user xiaomi part plays very important role it's included there me sound enhancer i tried it some time ago by using my headphones it's just great and yes if you have xiaomi parts included with this me sound enhancer and usb fast charge and some options like that this is a very good advantage of using a custom room on your device Legion OS is one of those custom rooms. It also has a display color calibration, which plays an important role. If you don't know in Redmi Note 8, we have a different kind of touchscreen panel. So it sometimes gives you the ghost screen. So yes, it is helpful for those users also. Including that we have all those same features. For example, it comes with Legion OS updater, which is of no use. So it's better not to use that. Of course, I don't think so. Most of you users use these updater kind of things in a custom rooms. And of course, these things are not recommended at all. It has this kind of one UI style settings UI, but which is customizable. You can customize this in settings. You can simply revert back to the official original settings things UI, but it's up to you. It's the default one which we have right now. I haven't checked the any settings like that, but yes, the option is available for you. Let's just talk about the default launcher. First of all, in the default launcher, you have the support of icon pack. You have the support of app locker, including that we have some developer options and expectedly it's not pixel launcher, which you get pre-installed. Of course, Pixel Launcher does not have these kind of features in this launcher where we have some cool interesting features available some advanced some extra features available these are actually let's just talk about checking out that which, which is a launcher this is Legion OS launcher and yes right now almost every OS has their own launcher just they just change the name else features things everything is almost same like that the good thing is it has the app locker inbuilt in this launcher which I think it's good of course it has the app locker in settings also but in the launcher it plays a very important role by default in redmi note 8 you have this miui camera pre-installed which is actually quite good if you want to use a custom room without losing the functionality of your default camera and all those lenses like 48 megapixel which sometimes some users use so the thing is available by the way we have the anx camera support also available but if you still don't want to use the anx camera want to use a stock miui camera then this option is present for you pro mode panorama mode i tried some things the things which i tried so far all the things were working fine so i don't think so you might get any kind of issues but including that you also have the support for the gcam and in my case i will not use the stock camera i will definitely use for gcam gcam 8.1 is very good i sometimes use the gcam by butcher cam if i'm not wrong the name was butcher cam you can use that and that gcam is quite good in the terms of performance in the terms of customizations the features are quite good Let's just talk about the Geekbench score here first of all quickly that how is the Geekbench score which you get here. 308 is the multi-core, 308 is a single core score and 1210 is the multi-core score and as you can see it's as expectedly it's showing something different. The features actually the performance real time performance is something different so yes this is normal so i don't believe in these scores but from now on you will see this thing in almost every kind of custom room review from now on i'll share with you geekbench and to the scores in every kind of custom room let's just talk about the end to the score and unexpectedly very very unexpectedly i got the end to the score of only 167311 and yes the rooms which have good performance so now right now and my criteria is i will definitely choose the room which has bad geekbench scores bad and to do scores rated to be very good performance based custom rooms and this is actually what it is i'm using it and the performance is not actually the scores are showing like 167311 i also got 2 lakh plus geekbench score in my redmi note device some time ago and the thing was that was the performance very very bad kind of thing but here we have the performance 
is very top and we have this bad kind of geekbench score 167311 which is not good so yes this is actually which i don't believe this is the reason why i don't believe on these scores now let's just talk about the cpu throttling test some users believe their cpu throttling test is actually same actually we're quite good but honestly i don't believe in this score also as you can see it's dropping at 80 percent which is not acceptable it's just going down 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 which is unbelievable but yes this is what it is showing like as you can see it's never ever touching at 100% at once it touched at 100% but after some time after i got to know after some time it was going at 100% just wait and watch as you can see it's going over 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 now it's almost touching at 100% as you can see it's touched at 100% now it's at 100% for a lot of time so i'm not sure if it will take some time to touch at 100% or what is this but you can see on this display that this is the actual performance actual cpu test here in my case in this legion os which we have installed on our redmi note 8 device it seems to be very good till now and as you can see this is the performance which i just wanted to talk about let's just talk about some other things here first of all it also comes with the, this uh, safeness status status is passed so which means in my case i haven't rooted by the way my device and by default if the safety net status is passing it's actually quite good in my case i just like this i just love this thing that if you get by default safety net status passed out of the box which means you will be able to use banking apps on your device without having any issues i tried using some banking apps so i didn't got any kind of issues including that we also have the device certification issues fixed which means in play store my device is showing as certified in the legion settings where we have many customizations available label for you the things are actually same as you can see and this we have uh, this animated kind of customizations everywhere which seems to be good quick settings we have status bar theming lock screen notification gestures etc these are some customizations you get here by the way i'm not going to talk about whole i'm not going to talk about much about these customizations because customizations are almost same like the other one we have some quick settings related customizations status bar related customizations ui style customizations available for you expanded state Status settings header as i just saw this is actually a one you like style but now it's changed so we have something different here everything else is actually same but these were the things i just want to let you know about this build which we have installed on our redmi note 8 you don't get the google apps pre-installed by the way you need to install them manually but else things are same this is all from today's short and simple video regarding legion os which we have installed on our redmi note 8 the latest android 11 this is all from today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video. If you're good, if you're new here, goodbye. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through.